Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle. And I'm Michelle, and we're the Wandering Shores. We made it out to a new state today. We are in Florida, though it doesn't probably look like it with the way we're dressed. It is about 63 degrees, I guess, without the wind. So we are at St. George Island State Park. Um, it's about 75 miles southwest of Tallahassee, Florida. And we are out here to see what this park has to offer. We've brought our bikes today. We're gonna go riding. There is some geocaches. And um, there's obviously a beach though. I don't know that we're gonna go swimming, though I may go wade out in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So let me show you what we got. Here as far as the water's concerned um, it's kind of chilly but uh, it's still Florida and you know shout out to all those back in Ohio and Indiana I know you guys are getting hit with snow and some frigid weather so uh, you know we won't complain too much uh, we'll update you when we get our bikes down off the car or off the truck and head out on the trail it's about a four mile one direction no I'm, five, I'm sorry five five miles one direction out to the peninsula so we'll take you along i've got my gopro mount for my helmet so uh we should be good see you soon hey we didn't even make it out of the parking lot and discovered there was actually a geocache here near, I, I guess this is the restroom slash office space um, that uh, is at the far end of the island, so, or the peninsula. Um, so yeah, we found our geocache, it's a big one. So we haven't opened it yet, so we will uh, show you what we do here. And of course, as tradition, Michelle will be the one opening it, mm -hmm. in case there's big spiders in it. <laughs> yeah. There's our log book and all kinds of cleansing towel, bag of goodies, rocks, rock, a carabiner, a little stone, old, old pen, rubber bracelets, some shell pieces, and that little thing. All right. So we'll sign the logbook. We will put something in and take something. Um, this is actually a series of geocaches that the state of Florida does at their state parks. So there's, I think, 71 of them that are uh, hidden throughout the state. And uh, obviously there's, there was originally about five or six in this area, but a lot of them were destroyed by Hurricane Michael back in 2018. Um, there used to be a boardwalk out here that was been destroyed. Um, they're still rebuilding a lot. And All right, we're getting started on our five mile one direction ride out to the tip of the peninsula where we're planning on having a little lunch that we brought. My understanding is most of this trail is crushed gravel and sand. At one point, you used to be able to drive four-wheel drive vehicles out here, but after the hurricane, the sand is just too soft, so they closed it for vehicle traffic other than bicycles. tell earlier the wind is really kind of kicking up so we apologize for the audio much of this is probably going to end up getting muted with some funky music added to it Section's a little high, a little deep. So, uh, brief sna snapshot of us walking our bikes through it.
Okay, we'll get back to you. I'm back. So, this has turned into more of a bike slash hike. This sand's uh, pretty brutal. Then I stumble along this sign here. I'm hoping you guys can see it from my GoPro. Caution, soft sand on road. Yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't really seen any road. Um, just a whole lot of sand. About 50% of it's very reasonable to ride in. I'm thinking this would be ideal for a fat tire bike, but for a standard mountain bike with, you know, standard width tires, you're really struggling in this real soft stuff. So, but we are about three miles in. I got about two more miles somewhere out there in those woods, I think, is where we're heading. And uh, we'll check back in. Well, I think we made it out to at least almost the end. Got to get on the uh, map and look, but I wanted to come back this way and cheer Michelle in as she finishes the last section of this trail. Uh, the last mile we did actually was not too bad. It's, it's crushed shells and gravel. It's, it's more hard packed. There were some wet spots, but nothing that you couldn't ride, ride around. So here she comes. That was a tough ride. Pretzel lady's got the snacks, so and the lunch. So I think we're going to walk over here onto the beach area and see if there's a little bit more of the peninsula to walk out onto um, and pop a squat and get something to eat. So we'll check in with you as we're feeding our faces. Well, we earned this uh, trip out here, that's for sure. So we're going to refer to this as the Wandering Shores Beach since it appears we're the only ones out here. We're gonna walk down to the very peninsula, find a place to eat. We just wanted to show you, this is actually on the opposite side of the peninsula. Obviously you can see probably from what you were seeing before, this is a lot calmer over here. I definitely think this is someplace I might be wading into the water uh, before we head back on our, on our five mile ride back. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's a lot cooler than we anticipated when we arrived in Florida, but we'll take it. You guys can see this, just riding along the beach, you can see Michelle coming, and jellyfish. That's pretty cool. All right, we just got finished eating lunch at this amazing uh, location. Let me turn it around and show you guys for a minute. One of the added bonuses, and I tried getting it on my camera phone because I had my camera out. Unfortunately, I didn't have my GoPro out. As we were sitting here eating lunch, about five or six dolphins were out here swimming probably about 25 feet off the shore. It was pretty cool. Over there's a little pelican flying. We're, we're now referring to them as pterodactyls. Actually, you can probably see right about here, uh, I just saw the dolphins' uh, fins again. I think they're back out there. So I don't know uh, if they'll resurface here with the water being so choppy, it's kind of hard to see. You just kind of get a quick glimpse of them. But yeah, this is beautiful out here. We just got done eating and uh, we're gonna be heading back. We're gonna walk back over where we left our bikes and uh, then we're gonna ride back to the parking lot. It's about five miles or so as obviously it took us to get out here. Michelle, any words of wisdom? Oh yeah. So um, had to really watch where we were uh, biking and then walking uh, once we got to this point. So we didn't step on any, but found some really huge shells too. So we, we have a little collection of those in my backpack we're taking back. Yeah, we hit the shell jackpot out here. Um, we did. You know, there's nobody out here, so nobody out here to take the <laughs> shells when they surface in the morning. So um, thanks for joining us. Uh, we may check back in before we get back to the parking lot, but if not, we'll give you an overall recap of how the ride back went. Talk to you soon. Okay, we made it back to the parking lot. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna hit the beach a little bit on foot right behind us and see uh, what treasures are out there. 
Yeah, it's, it's really been a really nice day. I mean, obviously it's a little overcast. Um, the sun was trying to come out a couple times, but the clouds were preventing it. Um, it was about 64, I think, when we arrived. So I'm guessing with the wind chills, probably in the high 50s. Um, but once you start biking, you know, it's, it's you really get warm. Um, you know, there, there were, the, the bike trail was fun. Um, you know, it wasn't super challenging though. There were some spots you clearly had to walk your bike because the sand was just way too deep. So we appreciate everybody following. Uh, I hope you tune in, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, so you're notified when we release a new video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Oh, you know what? I left my phone in the, uh, in the car so I won't be able to kind of see what this angle would look like. Oh.